name is Jack Septiceye and welcome back to True or False. Okay, first question. True or false? I'm gonna get a lot of things wrong in this episode. There's no way of knowing. Okay, let's get back into our campaign. Question 52. Gamers have collectively spent over six million years playing World of Warcraft longer than the human species existence. Yep, that's sad enough to be true. Yeah. Six million years of World of Warcraft? That's a lot of World of Warcraft! But then again, it is like 15 million people. Uh, I, well, actually, that's the lower end of how many people are playing World of Warcraft. What's the peak World of Warcraft numbers that they've ever been? Probably like 20 something million. I think I saw 25 million or 15 million or something thrown around before. Ah, anyway, Aaron Paul and Brian Cranston both got tattoos together when Breaking Bad ended. I've never seen them. Not the people, the tattoos. But they did have a very good bromance. They did! What were their tattoos? I need to search this up. Oh, they got the little Breaking Bad logo. Oh, that's cute. Oh, look at those guys. I love Brian Cranston. And I love Aaron Paul as well. Okay, correct. That's true. Beretta is the oldest gun company in the world, being established in 1526 in Brescia, Italy. Oh, I didn't even know that they were Italian. Oh, I know Beretta though. I actually, we, actually, we used to have a Beretta shotgun in our house. L long story. For hunting purposes, not for killing bad guy purposes. We don't do that over here in Ireland. Um, they have been around a very long time, but I don't know if they're the oldest gun company. Ha-ha! <laughs> Correct, Amundo! Three for three! Could I go a whole- Could I go a whole episode getting them all right? I highly fucking doubt it, but I'm gonna try. The sum of all the numbers on a roulette wheel is 666. Damn it! Fuck it anyway! <laughs> I jinx myself! Don't jinx yourself! He who jinx himself, winks himself. Haha! Uh -huh. You get it? <laughs> My eyes feel weird. Alabama had re redefined pi to 3.0 bring it to bring it in line with biblical values. Please don't tell me that's true. The beauty of pi is that it it's the number just fucking goes on forever. You can't just round it down. Please don't be true. Yes. Oh, I've never been happier to be wrong. Oh, thank God. Actually, why would it why would 3.0 be biblical values? I should have thought that through. <laughs> Tea's consumption rate is higher than all other manufactured drinks combined, including chocolate, coffee, alcohol, and soft drinks. Well, okay. Let's try and reason this one out. Tea is fucking awesome. Um, but see, over here, tea is like black tea. We, we drink black tea with milk in it. And to us, that's like when you hear tea over here or in England, um... Maybe Australia as well, because Australia share a lot of the similarities with Britain. But when you hear tea, it's like builder's tea. It's like black tea. Oh, good old sup of tea. But it, it, when other people think of tea, they think of like peppermint or green tea or it's like oh, there's a gigantic, huge amount of teas, and that's why I'm starting to think it might be true. And I know a lot, like lots of Asian cultures love drinking tea, but I mean. <laughs> I think Ireland and England alone are taking in enough alcohol. The Germans as well, up top bros, um, are taking in enough alcohol for the rest of the entire planet. True. Why not? I want this to be true. Wow! Because that, that's the thing. Like, there's so many different types of tea that so many different types of people drink so many different types of tea, so that's cool. Um, in Mexico, artists can pay their taxes using artwork they create. I have heard that somewhere. I've heard that that's true somewhere, but I don't know if it's Mexico. I don't- Mexico, really? Do you have that? This part I know is true, that artists can pay their taxes using artwork they create. But I thought it was like Italy or France or somewhere like that. It is true! It's- it was Mexico! Wow! Cause- well- that just shows my ignorance towards Mexican culture, I guess. It's just that you don't normally associate, like, 
artworks with Mexico. It's always like the Louvre or like the Mona Lisa and the Renaissance and all that stuff. Again, that's me being uncultured swine, but good on you, Mexico. That's a really cool thing. Imagine if I was able to pay my taxes with yelling. <laughs> Your taxes are four gajillion euros. Ah! Okay, you still have to pay your taxes. <laughs> In ancient Rome, uh, actually, how much money would you have to make to have your taxes over here be four gajillion? Christ. In ancient Rome, a toga was the equivalent to a suit today. I thought it was just everyday wear. Wow. Cool. I guess suits are everyday wear. It's like working wear for a lot of people, so that would be true. Okay, moving on. Albert Einstein was offered the presidency of Israel, but turned it down. I honestly have no idea about this one. Some of the other ones I, I know anecdotally, or I've heard them written somewhere, or seen them on Reddit, or something like that, here and there. This one I've never heard. I don't think he would have been offered the presidency of Israel. Because Albert Einstein wasn't considered a great man, like, most of his life. It was way, way, way later in his life that people started to take, like... Take notice of him a, a lot of like a lot of his stuff. I remember watching a documentary on him before it was very very good about the hardships that he had And how a lot of the stuff he was trying to prove was was almost impossible to prove because the world war started He was offered the offer the presidency of Israel Wow, I like this. I'm learning man. Um, so the ones I don't know I just guess Postal service within Andorra is completely free I don't know. <laughs> it, I don't even know where- where is Andorra? I could hazard a guess, but I don't want to in case I'm wrong and then upset people. And then look stupid. Andorra is a tiny independent principality situated between France and Spain in the Pyrenees Mountains. I would not have guessed that. Um, sure, why not? Wow! Andorra, you rock! The po- well, I guess- and well, I didn't see how big Andorra was, but why is it free? See, that's, that, those are the types of things that your taxes should go towards. Maybe they pay their tax and the postal service is free, or maybe it's just free out of goodwill, or maybe they're the area that they, it, it's free and is absolutely tiny. But I've always thought, imagine what it'd be like if your taxes actually went towards something good. Towards something useful. Towards something, well, a lot of taxes do. A lot of taxes go towards, like, um, medical or, um... Like, services, like the fire department and stuff, in different parts of the world. And some places in the world, like Denmark and Sweden and a lot of um, European places, like your taxes go towards free healthcare, free education. Um, with some caveats here and there. But I've always thought, imagine if, if taxes were higher, stay with me, I know a lot of you are trying to burn me at the stake already. If your taxes were higher, but they went towards better, better things. Like, you would be able to mail stuff for free because your taxes went into the mail service. Or you were able to go get free health checkups because your taxes went into that a bit better. Instead of funding a bunch of, like, bullshit. I've went on this rant before, I'm not gonna go on it again. <laughs> Edgar Case, correctly, that and the fact that I don't know a whole lot about, like, the specifics of the tax system, so a lot of what I could be saying could be wrong. Edgar Case, correctly predicted the release date of Half-Life 3. False. There is no release date of Half-Life 3. WHERE THE FUCK IS IT, GABE?! It's like, I feel so bad for Gabe Newell. He gets a lot of shit for that all the time, because he's like the face of Valve. But I mean, he doesn't make the game. He helps. Uh, but there's a team of people that make the game. They should be getting shit for Half-Life 3. WHERE IS IT?! And, you know what, I wouldn't even be so upset about Half-Life 3 not coming out if they didn't end Half-Life 2 Episode 2 on a cliffhanger. And then started to make it like episodic content, because it was Half-Life 1, then Half-Life- Wait, is there Half-Life 2 and then Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Episode 2? Or is Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and 2? Uh, that always confused me, I can't remember. I've played them all and everything. But, <coughs> they brought out like Episode 1 and 2, and then just stopped. It's like, and it ends on such a cliffhanger! I would say it now, except for spoilers, except- We've all played Half-Life 2, we've all felt the pain. The sun loses around 4 million tons of mass per second due to fusion. Uh, see, <laughs> it loses a lot of energy, and then it like recreates the energy, but mass? Then we do have coronal mass ejections, so <laughs> I don't know. Ah, it is true. See, I didn't know about the wording if you were trying to trick me. Um, British accents noticeable change 
within every, within the UK every 25 miles. Noticeably! Get it right! I mean, supposed to fucking do true or false if you can't even get the grammar of the sentence correct. British accents noticeably change within the UK every 25 miles. I mean, I know the UK is like Ireland where we have <laughs> new accents like every county or every district, but I don't think... Like, I've always thought Ireland and England have like the most... It's, it's, it's very much Ireland have like the most diverse set of accents for the the size of the country because we're not a very big country but the amount of accents that are in the country is insane that's why everyone's like he doesn't sound Irish to me I'm like tons of people don't sound Irish that actually are Irish who cares this is my accent this is the way I talk just because your accent isn't the fucking same Irish people are so bitter <laughs> um about 25 miles false I mean how is there a way of, like, gauging that? Somebody could just talk weird. Fuck's sake. <laughs> In Japan, there is a belief that if the umbrella long enough lies idle, it becomes a one-eyed and one-legged hopping... D Wait, is that where the Ghibli movie stuff comes from? Because there's an umbrella in that that bounces around. Oh wait, no, it's a scarecrow. In Hell's Moving Castle. Isn't there a- no. Please don't be true. <laughs> Why? Why would an umbrella become a hopping demon? Actually, I'm pretty sure Japanese people don't believe that. It's just one of those, like, leftover stories. Like the whole thing about the banshee over here. And leprechauns and pots of gold at the end of a rainbow. There's no pots of gold at the end of a rainbow. Science proves that you can't get to the end of a rainbow. It's, a vi it's visual trickery! I've tried when I was younger. I mean, it's funny because when I was younger, I remember seeing a rainbow go down and it was like over near my neighbor's house in their field. And I was like, I can see where that rainbow is hitting the ground. I could actually see the bottom of the rainbow hitting like the ground or like hitting the trees or the actual place that it was. And then I was like, I'm going over there, ma. To hold out me supper, I'll be back in a few minutes with a pot of gold and I'll buy you all the nice earrings you want. And then I went over and there was nothing there. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the smallest prison in the world has a- yeah. Why not? Of course, because the ridiculous things are true apparently. The Rito was originally created by Disneyland to make use of leftover tortillas. What?! That's true?! What?! I never knew that! That's crazy! I thought they were just made for Call of Duty! Christ! Okay, last one. I'm, dri I'm driving myself mad. It's making me look dumb, but come on! This is fucking... A lot of this is stupid knowledge, how would I know this? Actually, that, that'd be the exact type of things that I would know. I'm getting a lot of them wrong. I started off great. All that remains of Shakespeare's handwriting are six signatures, none of which are spelled Shakespeare. Of course. They're all fucking ridiculous. Ha <laughs> ha! And just like that, we're ending this episode on question 69. <laughs> lake Baikal in Russia is the deepest lake in the world. I don't know. I'm not guessing. Because I'm going to be wrong. It's going to make me look even dumber than the game has already made me look. Why don't you ask me questions about YouTube, game? I know a lot of shit about that. I know a lot of shit about building my own computer. I know a lot of shit about music and drums. Why don't you ask me stuff and fucking no? So they ask me stuff that makes me look dumb. How many craters are on the surface of the moon? Oh, true. <laughs> that question didn't make any sense. Fuck it. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face. Like a buzz. And I think it's all right. Thank you guys. And I will see all you dudes. I don't know what it is, but it's huge. And I like it. And I want to do it. Of the century! Woo! Yes! Backflips! And car wheels! Oh, true or false? Jack's a dumbass! Oh! Inconclusive! <laughs> <laughs>